Hey guys, here to talk to you about the Crate Stealth. Now I know what you're seeing is the PB Windsor. Well, that's just the shell. Inside is the Crate Stealth. These were made back in, I want to say from 94 to 96, somewhere in there. I had one brand new when they came out. As I'm getting older, the timeline's getting a little fuzzy, so it was made somewhere in that time. Anyhow, they were uh, designed, St. Louis Music Company, who owned Crate and Ampeg at the time, hired Lee Jackson, which was a famous L.A. amp modder. He was known for taking JCA 800s and uh, Marshalls and modding them to be beefier, like just more saturation and tighter bottom ends, you know. Because as we all know, with Marshalls, to get the tone, you have to hook up a tube screamer. Well, after Lee Jackson's mods, not the case. You can plug straight in. Uh, that's going to be the example I'm showing here today. Cable out of the guitar right there, straight into the amp. Nothing in the effects loop, no tube screamer, just straight guitar. The guitar is my favorite. This is a brand called Dillion. These have been made in Vietnam, Korea. This one's Korean, and uh, I've seen some in Canada. They are a company who does great clones of other guitars. As you can see, this is a really bitchin' PRS knockoff. Made so well that PRS sued this company. I don't know if they're even in existence anymore. Nice set neck guitar. Uh, average retail is like 450 to five. Excuse me, hiccups. $450 to $500 for a guitar like this. This one is all stock. I don't have any EMGs or hot rotted or anything like that. There's no, you can see there's no preamp little nine volt thing. So these are just stock. The whole guitar is stock. I like to tune a full step down. So D to D, no drop stuff. I'm not a fan of drop tuning where you do the one finger wonder chord. Just isn't for me. I, my power chords are perfect fits. So, we're going to take a listen to the amp. It is a three channel. Um, me, I only use one. I, you know, I'm a metal guitar player. It's what I've always been. It's probably what I'll always be. So, you got clean, obviously. Uh, there's reverb in the amp. They got a, a little tank in there that sounds pretty darn good. Uh, a rhythm channel, which is about what a normal Marshall sounds like. And then they got the lead channel, which is super hot rioted. And like, again, it, like I said, it sounds like you've got a tube screamer, but there isn't one. So this is gonna be an example of this amp straight in. Um, I know a lot of people go, oh, great. You know, again, this was the very first one they ever made, so they did it right. They screwed up afterwards. You know, they made the Blue Voodoo, which everybody we know is, ugh, great can't really afford the equipment. That's what Crate stands for. That's the joke. They're great practice little practice amps, you know, for sitting on your couch and playing. But when it came to the tube world, like I said, first one out of the gate, they did it right. Um, I was very fortunate, and you're gonna kind of crap your pants when I tell you this part of the story. I just obtained this about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, uh, through a buddy of mine. I got this, it's a 50 watt version, they made the 50 and the 100, I got this one for $75. Didn't really know what he had, I guess, you know, or just didn't care, so he hooked me up on the price, very nice guy, and I'm telling you, this thing's a beast. So, what we're going to hear, one more time, stock guitar, tuned to D, straight in, no pedals, nothing in the effects loop. Uh, I am going through a Marshall bottom cab, a 1960, so it's got the... Really bitching Celestian speakers in there.
Thank you. 